Hi, I'm Georgia Pellegrini. I'm a chef and author of the new book, Girl Hunter. I'm a big proponent of brining and marinating game meat. And that is because wild animals are athletes. They have more muscle tissue, they run freely, they exercise, they eat whatever they please. And so it's a little more of a challenge to get the wild game meat to be tender. But I love marinating and brining, and that's because you really don't want it to go to waste when you've had to work that hard to bring your ingredients to the table. So this first recipe is a brine. And brining is an old-fashioned technique where you create a salt water solution that's flavorful um, with aromatics and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar. And you can experiment here, but the idea is that you want to have water and salt. And what that's going to do is the salt and the moisture is going to retreat into the cell walls of the meat and it's going to help it retain its moisture. So what I have here is eight cups of water. It's coming to a simmer and I'm, I'm going to dissolve my sugar and my salt in there. So we've got a good solid amount of salt, some white sugar. Now I'm adding a little brown sugar because I like the flavor of it. Uh, but you can really experiment here. You can just use white sugar if you want. You could use just brown sugar. You could use cane sugar. Then I've got some mustard seeds. I've got some cracked black peppercorns. And I have some white wine vinegar. And then I have my aromatics. I'm using bay leaf, I'm using thyme, and I'm using three crushed garlic cloves. And that's my favorite brine. So what I'm gonna do is, is it's gonna simmer a little bit more. It's gonna dissolve all of the sugar and the salt. It's gonna come uh, sort of blend into the liquid. And then we're gonna pour it into a bowl and let it cool. So we're all dissolved here. And we're just gonna pour this into a bowl. And then we're gonna take it to the refrigerator. We're, let it, we're gonna let it come to room temperature and that's when we're gonna submerge our meat. So the next recipe is a red wine marinade. Now the difference between a marinade and a brine is that while a brine is more about keeping a piece of meat juicy, a marinade is really about tenderization. So what's great about this recipe is that it's perfect for something like a venison shoulder or an elk shoulder, something with a sort of a tougher cut of meat, something with more muscle tissue. So I've put a little bit of grapeseed oil in this pan. And I actually use grapeseed oil because it has a higher smoking point than olive oil. So you can really get the pan nice and hot to get a nice caramelization in the bottom of the pan. Now if you can't find grapeseed oil, you can use vegetable oil. I just like grapeseed because it has a really clean flavor to it. It doesn't really affect the flavor of the final dish. So we have our grapeseed oil going. We're gonna add some vegetables to this one. We're gonna do celery, onion, a little carrot. We're gonna let these brown. And a nice toss. And as these brown, it start to, it's going to start to caramelize the bottom of the pan. So the goal is to get a lot of nice brown bits on your vegetables because that's where the flavor's at. So by really cooking them on a high heat, you're caramelizing them and all the sugars are going to caramelize and you're going to get some nice brown bits at the bottom of your pan. Then we're going to add the red wine vinegar and we're going to add our aromatics. We've got some parsley and parsley stems. We have thyme, bay leaf, some cloves, which add a nice earthiness, and some black peppercorns. And then to that, we're going to add red wine. I'm using a whole bottle of red wine here. And that's just going to get really flavorful. We're going to bring it up to a simmer. And then we're going to let it cool again, just like we did with the brine. And as it cools, it's going to start to absorb all the flavors of the vegetables and the herbs and the peppercorns and the aromatics. So once your marinade has been simmering for about 30 minutes, you're going to turn off your heat and you're going to take your bowl, and you're going to pour it in, and we're going to let this cool just like the way we did with the brine. So our marinade and our brine have both cooled. And all we're going to do is take our venison and submerge it in the red wine marinade. We're gonna soak that overnight because it's a pretty big cut. For smaller, more tender cuts, you can do 12 hours. And then we're gonna take our turkey, and these are turkey breasts, so we're just gonna soak these for 12 hours in the brine. For larger cuts, especially cuts with bones in them, you're gonna wanna do at least 24 hours. And now with the marinade, 
you actually, once it's submerged, you can actually go ahead and cook it right away. With a brine, it's a little bit different. When you take out the meat, you're actually gonna to wanna to let it rest for at least three hours so that the juices can retreat back into the cell walls. You can actually let it sit overnight in the refrigerator up to 24 hours, pat it dry, and then cook it. So give these both a try, they're super simple. I have lots of recipes for brines, rubs, and marinades in my book, Girl Hunter. It's gonna make your game meat taste so much better. Girl Hunter is available on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, at IndieBound, or wherever books are sold.